welcome to Sculpture Studios. I imagine many people around these parts would most likely recognise Aidan's old company van, with the sculpture of Monty bursting through the roof. For the locals, this form of advertising is massively effective, and here we have a company just around the corner from us called Steelcraft UK Limited, and today they've got some 3D advertising of their own in mind. They're investing in a new runaround vehicle for the business, and here you can see some different ideas they have about installing a lightweight version of one of their girders on top of the car. There are multiple elements like bolts, welding and joins that they'd like to be featured, so we're putting together a few mock-up ideas to work out how best to show off what Steelcraft do, as well as making this practical to actually install and drive. We don't want anything hanging over the front windscreen, nothing pointed or sharp at the front for obvious reasons, and preferably everything kept in line so that the sculpture isn't catching the wind too much and naturally lifting itself off of the roof. Speaking of roofs, this is a convertible, which means that not only can we not bolt down into the soft canvas in the middle, and a bracket needs to be made to bolt to the top of each window frame, but we also need to allow enough space on top, underneath the girder, for the roof to fold and unfold without any interruption. There's more to it than first meets the eye, but hey, when isn't there? We've created a mock-up in polystyrene, bounced around a few ideas making tweaks and changes along the way, and now that we're happy with the overall look, we're going to recreate this in a lightweight MDF board. Now we're aware that MDF is by no means strong enough to create as a finished piece, and we certainly wouldn't recommend that, but this is just so we get a nice neat form before we reinforce with glass fibre. The fiberglass with the wood inside will make this strong, durable, lightweight enough to go on top of the car, and easy to install and remove again if anything needs to be changed later down the line. But between you and me, we're hoping this is something that they'll be proud to feature on their car for quite a while. The outside edges are sanded down, and the interior corners filled and sanded smooth, so that the fiberglass will have less trouble achieving the correct form. We're going to go on with a sturdy build-up of glass fibre, so this is nice and strong, but not too thick so as to not create a shape that looks too bulky. It's a fine line when blanket coating with glass fibre, but for something like this that doesn't require too much detail, this should be a perfect method. Once everything has been prepped, and the fiberglass has been applied on nice and neat with a general purpose resin, we then go over with a black resin flow coat. Not only does this help soften that obvious fiberglass matte texture that won't really be appropriate to look like steel, but it also proves a good base colour for the eventual artwork. Here we are with our little smart car. We're just trying to make sure the beam of this is dead centre to, to this. So we're using the laser beam to hit the centre of their logo and there's a datum up here which is the centre of their bonnet as well and we're making sure that laser beam strikes through the whole lot and I don't know whether you can see it on camera or not it comes through the centre of this as well so from front to back the whole sculpture square nice and tight um, but it's a funny thing because if it's just slightly out it looks wrong from any angle so it's quite um well it's imperative really that we get this and this and that dead neat in line so uh it helped with the wind loading and the aesthetics and everything else so now we're going to fix the whole sculpture together and make sure we get some brackets for the back and to hold up that middle section as well above the uh, the arches of the door but yeah, looking very, very nice so far.
we're going to be using real bolts for the detailing, as though these were a tiny bit heavier than recreating from some sort of resin or plastic, it works out far more cost effective for the client, as they can literally provide the bolts themselves, and it saves having to go down a silicon rubber mould and a plastic casting route. To make sure these don't rattle their way loose off of the job, as well as the natural thread of the bolts, we're bonding these in place with a resin mix as well. To add that steely grey look on top of the black resin base coat, Aiden's going over and hitting all of the high spots with a theatrical dry brush technique. The metalwork bracket for mounting the girder onto the top of the car is being created so that it keeps the sculpture raised at the correct pitch, both for streamlining in the wind, as well as to not get in the way of the opening and closing roof. We're going over with a red oxide paint to provide a little weather protection, but while we're on the subject of rusting, here's a little something that we're adding to the sculpture, just to give it a more theatrical punch. I mean, sure, the idea obviously isn't to advertise a product that will rust, but we're fairly certain the majority of customers and onlookers will understand that this is more of a statement art piece than simply a product reproduction. When inviting clients down to the studio, particularly when they haven't seen much of a sculpture beforehand, it usually works out to be a really rewarding moment. We think it's nice for something that's just an idea or a sketch on a piece of paper to suddenly become real and fully made right in front of you, and it's always a great feeling for us knowing that a client is happy with what we've created for them. A big thank you to Sean and his team from Steelcraft UK Limited right here in Basildon for coming to us with the project, and their collaborating design of a rusted vinyl graphic really complements the sculpture, and we'd simply like to say, well done. Weld done, that's a welding joke. Please feel free to leave any comments below, as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for our latest videos. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram via the links below, and for all of our true diehard fans out there, you can now become a patron of our studio. Many thanks to all of our existing patrons, your support really does mean a lot. All of our support contributions go towards the creation of these videos, so if you enjoy our content, you know what to do. Becoming one of our credited patrons means you'll be featured at the end of our upcoming YouTube projects like these guys here, so visit the Patreon link with this video to show your support. However big or small, it's greatly appreciated from all of us here at Sculpture Studios. Thank you very much for watching.